So the cap my Farangatang friends and Poem Poem Kun Thai and today we're out and about we're in Kanchanaburi and we're gonna go and see the in-laws not sure what we're gonna film this week we've been here before you've seen most of it most of it are videoed but we'll see it might be something maybe a new restaurant or hotel although I think we're staying in the same place we normally stay anyway whatever hopefully it'll be interesting Prawns on the grill. That one's moving, probably still alive. Grilled prawns. So, this marvel is pad kapow and chips, something that I've never had before. It was really nice, uh, quite a surprise. Uh, it would have been nice with a fried egg on top. I have to admit, and that was at the Avenue Thai Food and Good Beer restaurant. So now took us to Tong Can Cafe, which is right down by the river. And they have these wonderful gardens that you walk through with a water feature, little fountains there and lots of ferns and things. Very nice, very pretty. And when we were coming out, there was lots of steam coming off it, so they've got some kind of steam effect. You'll see that a bit later on, because there was a big black bowl, I guess you'd call it, that had steam coming out. So it's a very rural looking cafe. There are a lot of trees on the inside, which is quite unusual, I guess. And all the tables are made from tree trunks that have been sheared off and polished. 
There's the uh, fountain, as I was saying. The steam. Quite interesting little feature. Anyway, we had a little walk around the grounds before we went in. Beautiful table there for couples, even though there's three seats. And you can see the tables, they're kind of, as I say, polished wood, very naturalistic looking. Some guy was up a tree cutting branches down. <laughs> They've got a pontoon with glass tables. So you can walk over to the pontoon and you can sit out there. I should imagine it gets pretty busy at night. We went actually just as it had opened, so it was quite early, I think it was 10 o'clock when we arrived and we thought we were the first people there. There were a couple of people in the restaurant already. Anyway, so you can set up the table there. I'm not sure whether you can put your feet in the river. Some places you can do that. A sort of a wide shot there of the surroundings in the restaurant. Guy up the tree. Get down, man. You're gonna call yourself a mischief. Yeah. So, it's very clean, it's very modern. There were a couple of flies knocking about that were rather annoying. But I suppose that's part of being in Thailand, isn't it? Anyway, as you can see, you've got all these trees kind of placed around the restaurant. So it feels like you're kind of outside, even though you're not. Plenty of seating space. But as I say, I think if you came in the evening, it would be advisable to book a table. That would be my guess, because it looks like it's going to be a place that's quite trendy and gets busy. Pizzas on the menu, there you go, 229, 199, not too expensive. And then they've got an extensive menu with Thai food, which I'm flicking through there. We did actually get Thai food, we didn't get any Western food. So we'll have a look at that at some point. Yeah, the menu, the menu was quite extensive. We only had water. It was early in the morning, so no uh, Richard Gears, as we like to call them. Nice views. Uh, you, you see speedboats going up and down, which is quite good. And you probably noticed that in the restaurant, the basically the one side of the restaurant, it's all windows. They were a little bit dirty. Like I say, I'll give you a waltz and all here. Uh, our man in Bangkok, they could have done with a clean, I have to say. So, now I ordered quite a few dishes. Some of them you won't see. She did order a red curry, uh, which she likes. Uh, it's too spicy for me, to be honest. And a Tom Yam Gung, which we brought home. Views around the restaurant there, so you can see how big it is, what it looks like. It was very nice. It was very modern, very clean. Apart from the two flies that kept harassing, <laughs> harassing us. Um, I did actually manage to uh, get rid of one of them in a violent way. Anyway, there's the Pad Kapow. That was very nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, the food was good, but it, it was nothing extraordinary. You weren't like, wow, blown away by it or anything like that. The Moo Todd was a bit fatty. But it had a nice flavour to it, to be honest. We got some spring rolls with a plum sauce dip. I like the way they did the carrots. The carrots were like waffle fries, weren't they? I've just seen them there. There you go. And this is outside. Look at the door. Check the door out when she opens it. Like a revolving door. They do have a terrace upstairs, so they have got extra seating. You can get nice views as well of the river. And obviously it's sheltered up there. They've got a big roof made out of um, thatch. Don't know what kind of thatch it is, reeds, I guess. And there are some people down the bottom by the river having breakfast. Well, that was the, what's it called? Tong Tongkan Cafe. Tongkan Cafe, there you go. I should know, I've just literally been in there. And it was okay. You, it's a little bit pricey, but then again, you are on the river and it's quite modern. What do you think of the food? What would you give it out of five? Four. 
thought I would as well. So there you go. I give it a four. It's okay. Price wise, as I say, it's a little bit pricey, but you are on the river. And yeah, the food, it's okay. So if you're down, go and have a look. It's quite nice. I'm in the car, travel, food, and lifestyle. He's the one to go to a hip, big silent.